Yeah, you wanna put that dish in your mouth? Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna do a nice home-baked egg custard tart. Now, you've seen my sweet pastry in a previous video. If not, you can click to it here. It's one of my favorite tarts, but you can use this tart pastry case for anything. Egg custard tart. Here we go, nice and easy. Okay, start off with 500 grams of double cream and we're gonna pop that in a nice heavy base saucepan. Next, I'm gonna pop in one teaspoon of the vanilla pod paste and then I'm gonna separate eight eggs. We need the yolks of this recipe to put them in a heat proof dish and save the whites to one side. Now we're gonna add 75 grams of caster sugar and we're gonna beat those yolks and that sugar together like they'd be naughty. When the cream is hot but not simmering, we're gonna whisk that onto the yolks and sugar mix. Make sure you get all the cream in there, it's all part of the recipe, and mix it. Then pass it off through a sieve to get rid of any scuzzy bits. And you've got a nice sweet custard. Oh, tip, make sure your bowl's big enough to take the whole mix. Next, pull the shelf out in your oven and add the sweet pastry tart case. Preheat the oven to 130 and then gently add your custard, nice and carefully, into the tart case. Grate two whole nutmegs onto the top, two whole nutmegs, and carefully, carefully slide it in. Careful not to spill it over the sides because this will stick the pastry to the tin. Check it's cooked by tapping it, it should wobble like a jelly. If you want to check it with a pro, you'll be looking for 74C. Then take it out, nice and carefully, now allow it to cool for 30 minutes down to room temperature. Use something high to lower the tart case down. You can slide it off the tart case base at this point and now the tart's ready to slice. When plating tarts, keep it nice and simple and let that tart speak for itself. I'm topping this one with fresh raspberries. And I've shredded up a little bit of fresh mint just for the top. Now I'm gonna dust it with icing sugar for a nice finish. And there you have a delicious egg custard tart with fresh English raspberries. As always, the recipes and the method are in the description. Any comments or questions, please let me know. Feel free to pop into Portsmouth and see me. I'm happy to answer questions face to face, or you can leave the comments below and I will answer your questions for any cooking questions based on this subject. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe for more content like this. And for more dishes, watch this video next. See you next time. Bye now, it's Gary's Kitchen out.